And that's the end. I'll take the heal. I'll take a safe. And it's boss time. Pretty fireless arena, just some oil. But I think it's gonna change in a moment. Did you hear that sound? The fire elemental, all right. Look at it burn. That's not burning up. What an ama amazing creature! Oh, but the poor thing has been folded to origami. We've got to cool it down somehow. While I kill it. This thing. Its wings are huge! A majestic bird like that has to be the fire, fire elemental. It's on fire! So, what should we do first? I guess the gloves are off. No, like, <coughs> tricks for me there. I uh, guess what I will do is just do this. Yeah, I think that'll work. I want to get the plus one because I want to deal as much damage as I can. Well, not necessarily damage, more so just hitting it a bunch. Because for hitting it, we make it drop some of its feathers. <laughs> also kind of sad, yeah, of course. So I just want to get as many hits in as possible here. Fireball. I cast Fireball. Now this move, Molten Feathers, this is the one that it's like, it's like its main thing. It casts a lot of its feathers onto the board, which in turn will make everything a lot more treacherous and dangerous. So we want to be careful there. Uh, yeah, like that, I guess. You don't want to step on too many of these things because they do hurt. But for now, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Now, the, the map, the board is gonna get even more treacherous as we go on, but for now, we just wanna absolutely butcher it. Well, fireball. Thank you. I do not like the amount of damage it's doing, that is a bit much. And the board is also looking a bit rough right about now. Uh, huh. Alert warning! Auga! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Olivia. Thanks for the Auga. Ah, I think what I need to do now. It's gonna hurt, but I have no choice, I think. I need to open the chest. And I guess I need to heal. Yeah, we need the water, water of elementals help soon, but for now I need to just fucking heal. Oh my god. I couldn't get a heart into this like layout, so... Any type of extra movement you do here is just gonna be bad news, because you're just gonna get hit a lot more. Not good. Not good. Uh... When you do step on one of these, like, burny things, uh, you do deactivate them, so that's good. I guess we'll do one more attack or something? Sure. Ow, ow. Iron boots, iron boots. I don't think regular boots can actually damage this thing, uh, so, uh, don't even try. Oh, 
Okay. So far, so good. Fireball, yeah. Bolton feathers, fantastic. I... I'm just gonna say it's time. I hope. Okay. Fireball. That looked a lot smaller, but it still did a shit of damage. Oops. Yeah, thank you. Uh, if this is what we are able to attack it without getting burned. That's code speak for fucking hit this thing with your strong man arms, Mario. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah. That'll work. It doesn't have many feathers left, so let's just pummel it to head it back. And rip those fucking things out! <laughs> That's so brutal, I love it. Pretty tense fight, but I like it. There it is, the fire element, fire element. It's so hard to say elemental, I swear to god. We got the book! There! Oh wow, this one is the most challenging yet! Swings, the combination of mountain and valley falls, the improbable fire resistance! Well, I think I've got the concept down, but can I do it? My heart's pounding. Oh my! Remember how I said my heart was pounding? Well, now it kind of feels like it's on fire! I just let all the fire that was burning in my chest come out, and look what happened! Well, it looks like those birdies got caught up in the heat of the moment, what a spectacle! Alright, and that's the fire of elemental temple. Pretty simple actually compared to the others, but uh, it's fine, it's fine, a lot of fire, a lot of like damaging stuff. That's how it be. I had Taco Bell for lunch! I'm not sure if take my chances. No, no, a fiery temple filled with pitfalls is no place for a professor like me. Professor, we're back! Oh, thank goodness, I was just beginning to question my career choices. You won't believe this, we met the fire of elemental. It's a giant bird, and it turned, and I turned into the bird. Oh, my heart is still racing. 
Because that's all. Oh, well, it was very exciting out here too. Yes, I watched the flames intently and I sweated quite profusely. I had to ring myself out a few times. In any case, well done, Olivia. He is hoping your newfound avian affinity proves useful to us. Avian affinity. Alright, where's my car? It's the request right now. There it is. Just where I left it parked. Fantastic. Okay, now with the power of fire in our hands, or in our girl, I don't know, we can finally do something about these towers. Ooh, some coins. At this foot, there's a mark. Dig at the mark. Get a thing. Okay, up we go. Oh, that's a lot of stairs for you. I mean, thanks for carrying me so often. You think we're in this lanky tower guy's head yet? Yes, actually. So... This is always just a hint towards where the gem would be. And the gems fit neatly into these eye holes. I feel like it would fit, but okay. Oh, it fits perfectly. How cute! Oh, the stone you put in there is sparkling so brightly. What's happening? Other than it's pretty light show. All it shaking. Why did we all fall down? What happened? Well, let's go outside and investigate, I would say. Look at that lanky guy. Isn't he facing a different direction now? Yep. So that's the puzzle of the desert, more or less. And let's have a cheeky look at what happened with the pyramid top over here. Oh, there's a, there's a sparkly spot. I must get sparkly spot because I have no control over my life. Coins. Precious. Well, this looks different. Did something light up? Was this here before? Looks like the light is an illuminated part of a design, but what is it? Well, that's for us to figure out down the line. For now, time to properly explore all the desert has to offer. So this is gonna take a while, probably. So here we are in Scorching Sandpaper East. Where there is a toad hidden in the sand. Fantastic. Hi, hi there. Yep. I'm supposed to be touring some stylish ancient walls around here, but now I can't find them. Well, don't worry about it. I don't think we're, like in the touring business at the moment. Most of the business of just repairing shit. So, you know. What? Come on. Yeah. Okay. What else we got here? We got these boos. Which... Apparently... Hate looking... Ow. Uh, hi. Oh my god. You're supposed to be scared of me when you when I look at you. Oh my god, go away. Hi, yeah, yeah. Oh. How convenient. There. Boom. Fucker. Okay, let's keep looking around. Uh, there's all these fireplaces, and in one of these, the first one I try. Fantastic. We found, a, we found a square jewel. Square. 
don't know why I'm saying it like that, but square. Uh, let's see. There was another bull here, yep. So we should take care of him. Yeah, you wanna like go to him into like being shy and then you wanna attack. Boom! There we go. Alright, let's dig here. What's in here? Coins! Coins! Nice. Uh, well, technically, I could just leave this area now that I have the jewel, but uh, explore and stuff. It's in the spirit of this chapter. Alright, dig up. More coins. And besides, I need coins. Down the line, that's just gonna be necessary for a lot of shit I wanna buy. So, meh. In this pot, we have snakes! A lot of snakes. Charmed. Quiet. Bonk. Yeah. Bonk. Yeah. Bonk. Alright, where is he? Is that the same guy? I think that's the same guy. Yeah, it is. Hi. <laughs> Fucker that surfed it. Uh, bonk. Maybe with a snake catcher. Well, I guess if snakes are considered a pest, yes, there would be a profession to, to catch snakes. I would assume. But then again, I'm no expert on snake catching. All I know is Indiana Jones would hate that job. Or love it. Well, he would hate doing it, but he would love that it exists. But you know, that's how it be. Let's see. Snake! Sand snakes, rune tempers, classic! I mean, you can't, can't beat the classic sometimes, you just gotta like. Oh god, dry bones. Yeah, more like die bones. Ha! <laughs> I wanna kill myself. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much everything here that I bothered to do. Uh, where's my boot car? I'm too lazy to walk over there. Too lazy. Okay, so that's pretty much everything here. Now let's move on to the west side. West side! And here we have a pokey. And a lot of stuff to smash, which is exciting. But also, the just smashing pokes is satisfying. Because then you don't have to fight them, which is nice. Cactus Toad! Cactus Toad! I have to, I have to work on my cactus impression. Why? Uh, I think here is where we wanna dig for the next jewel. Exactly. Fantastic. Okay, so there's a pokey there, which we can just kind of fuck off with. Uh, and a new enemy over there. Interestingly, I'd classify that as a chapter purple enemy, but I guess it just makes a cameo here. Uh, these are Crobas, I think. Yes, man, I'm good. Uh, I guess we'll just flashy boots them. But yeah, I like I did for the Mosaic chapter, like four enemies here, not three. But whatever, it's fine. Get some more coins out of these bone goombas. Lovely. Morbid stuff, huh? Kinda. Free at last! I need closure. 
Who died? Did you know that we all have skeletons inside our bodies? Yeah, so that's funny because skeletons are fucking hilarious. I love it. The funniest bunch. Alright, let's see. What else we got? It's just some stuff to destroy. Why not? Why not? Destruction is fun. Yeah, feel free to quote me on that, I guess. Psychopath PK. Back in action. Ah, I see. I see. Bonk! Thanks to that, this is going to. Yep. Brought home to the. From the yep. So the toads, I think there's. Still... Yes. Whoa! Pokey! Pokey, pokey! Pokey, pokey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. That. That was. That was an archer. Ooh, gold hammer! Oh god, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck right off, Mr. Pokey. Not on my watch. And some more coins. Okay. Fantastic. I guess that is more or less everything now. Ooh, another one of those lanky guys. Sure is. I think you can do like a fun little glitch here with Professor Toad. I can like kind of like glitch it under the, the floor or something. Uh, almost. I tried, okay. Maybe the patch dot. I really love the vibe when there's like no fire in these rooms. It's gorgeous. Also, I guess it gives some kind of like Sheikah Slate vibe for like kind of Breath of the Wildy. So you know, meh. She's so small. Olivia, you burned up. Amazing. They didn't teach this at school. And the minor didn't regenerative imbole. What? I'm re I really out of space. Oh my gosh, I said all of the black water on fire. It's called oil. What are your toes? 70.5? Fucking hell. But yeah, we need the fire to be like active here so we can like actually make the gems work. <laughs> I knew what was going to happen this time, so I didn't fall down! Fantastic! Okay, we're halfway through with the pillars. I feel like it might be a... Oop. Yes, yes. I feel like it might be a good enough, like, point to, like, call it. I swear I've seen Prof Toad, like, glitch through the floor. Where? Oh, maybe I'm just imagining things. Whatever. There's a safe spot right here. Very nice. I'm gonna quit this recording session because I am dying. So, hopefully, next time it's not gonna be as hot, but we'll see. <laughs>